do you how do you do lights? Lighting! My cat's in here. Calvin! Hey guys! It's time for a mega rant. Now, if you're new, which we all are, because I think this is my first one. Um, not in life, of course. I'm very good at ranting about things. Um, I'm a person, I have opinions and feelings, and I get very passionate about them. Not every rant is negative, not every rant is positive. Sometimes it's just something I really strongly feel and I gotta tell somebody. So, welcome to that. My cat is somewhere in this room. This is actually my guest room. My sister and her gal pal stayed over and I have not yet tidied up. Actually, sneak up on him. He's right there. Did you see him? Oh, he's elusive, like a panther. Okay, today's rant. Tony Collette, actress, artist, super underappreciated and the world does not deserve her. She's been in like a billion movies. She was just in Hereditary, really big horror thriller movie. <sighs> definitely creepy, definitely out there. Um, I cried, I can't. <sighs> I cried for two days. Um, she was amazing. Let's move on. Have you seen Connie and Carla? That pauses for effect. I'm really hoping you have. If you haven't seen Connie and Carla, go see Connie and Carla. Tony Collette is so funny. She can play a broad spectrum of people, but in that one, she plays the side character to Nia Vardalos so well, but she just feeds and feeds and feeds, and Nia Vardalos would not be half as funny without Tony Collette there helping her all along the way. And if you don't know the premise of the movie, the premise is they witness a crime and they have to go into hiding. And they go into hiding by disguising themselves as men, disguising themselves as women, and there's musical theater. I know, genius, right? Why didn't we do this before? It is amazing, it is so funny. Have you seen Connie and Carla? What? Connie and Carla. I mean, like, have you seen Connie and Carla? Hold on, you should totally see Connie and Carla. For real, go see Connie and Carla if you haven't seen it. I just want somebody to talk about Connie and Carla with. <sighs> Tony Collette is an icon in that movie. And she can sing, guys. Moving on, down my list. Um, mental. I didn't even know she was Australian. A troubled family. She's the mom, she's the pack leader. Also, I love Tony Collette in the struggling mother roles. Little Miss Sunshine. She portrays her role so well. You feel the struggle of a mother and you're just really trying to make your kids survive and you don't want them to be screw-ups and by God, you don't have any money, but you're really hoping that they remember something fondly when they're an adult and they're not scarred forever and you just want them to make it and be okay. That is 50% of Tony Collette's roles and she like nails it. Nobody wants to be the mom who like totally screwed up her kids. But anyway, Little Miss Sunshine. Go see it. You probably have seen it. Box Trolls? Go see Box Trolls. Have you not seen Box Trolls? The trolls, they're in boxes. She does voices. Did you know she's in a band? So you guys hear she's in a band? What? Tony's in a band? Yeah, guys, she's like totally in a band and she's like really good and she sings and she can play guitar. <laughs> Get out of town. She's in a band? Just like YouTube some of her music. You're already on YouTube. You're like literally four or five seconds away from finding it. I can't do it all for you. You have to do some of this on your own. Since we all have the internet at our fingertips, you should also Google the Graham Norton show. Um, she totally was a guest on it one time. She does amazing accents. She can nail like an accent from anywhere. And they, they totally quiz her on the show. They make her do a few here, a few there. They have her try some things out and it is hilarious. Graham Norton's a great host. The two just play off of each other so well. You need to watch her on the Graham Norton show and hear her do accents. <sighs> you guys, we just, we just don't deserve her. I feel like she needs to know how amazing she Hang on. <laughs> oh, we got it. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> oh, I love her. Okay, so I named what, like four or five movies? Tony Collette's like in a hundred. She's in a hundred movies. <sighs> on a scale of like fruit-based ratings, Tony Collette is like all of the mangoes and the kumquats mixed in with kiwis that have already been pre-peeled and the pomegranate bits that you don't have to fight for them. It's already ready for you. It's a little bit of everything, slightly exotic, some of it you're familiar with, all of it meshing together in beautiful flavors that you weren't quite ready for and various textures and the work was taken out of it. Blueberries get tiring after a while. I love blueberries, but you have a whole bowl of that and you know what it's going to taste like the whole way through. 
Tony Collette is that exotic mixed fruit bowl that you weren't expecting and probably cost about $8 more per pound at Trader Joe's. Just try it out. Just go, uh, pick four movies and give yourself a month, one a weekend. She's amazing. She's brilliant. She's talented. Whew. Rant over. Oh, God. Okay, guys. We did it. We did a good job. We survived this. We did really well. I'm proud of all of you. All right, well, we'll do another one of these. We'll do another one. We'll pick something at random. Maybe pet peeves. Maybe things I really like that are unexpected. We can see if we all share some common ground here. Uh, yeah. Well done. <laughs>